içme yasağına uyunuz. Sadece işaretlerle gösterilen bölümlerde sigara içilebilir. Teşekkürler. get busy here howdy howdy folks a train with you for another episode of airport ceo here on the channel and what we's going to do today is start us up a new airport you know i, I goofed around with it a little bit a couple weeks ago and did a several hour live stream trying to get feel uh back of uh, how the game works and everything and um, I, I didn't have much of a plan going into it. The Russian sun don't take a dump without a plan. Um, I'm going to try to improve upon that, come up with something better. So, uh, what we're going to do today is start a new airport. And we're going to try to create a model of Dallas Love Field. Now, if you're not familiar with Love Field, it is the older airport that's in closer to downtown Dallas. Uh, it was made famous in 1963 after John F. Kennedy was shot and killed. Uh, Lyndon B. Johnson was sworn in as president uh, aboard uh, Air Force One, sitting on the ramp at, at Dallas. Kennedy's body was flown back to D.C. Uh, it is a twin uh, runway airport. Uh, the runway's angle slightly northwest southeast. Um, if there are issues at uh, DFW with traffic and uh, weather, though they have the two crosswind runways there now. Uh, traffic may divert into Love Field. Primarily it is a Southwest uh, home base. Uh, Southwest Airlines uh, flies out of there with a whole lot of flights every day. And uh, then there's also some other airlines that work out of there. And then there's a lot of um, maintenance and uh, charter stuff that goes out of there. So uh, what we are going to try to do is um, work on, uh, let's see here. Let's screw around with this a little bit here. Uh, that do to work. Let's go with, uh, oh, wait. Yeah, that works. That's on the right. Yep. Hair color. Let's see. There's kind of a reddish. That looks good. Skin color. Oh, I'm pale. There we go. Eyes blue. Let's go blue eyes. Nose. Ah, oh, that nose is looking okay. Let's see here. And the suit, and kind of fancy and stuff. Hey, uh, Rudy Gerardo, hello, how are you? Um, Charlie Man 754, welcome aboard. Yeah, Southwest flying over your house uh, all the time. Yeah, that's, uh, let's see if it's uh, gonna let me do this, and, and a last name. Yeah, that's pretty casual. I like casual. Casual is good. All right, confirm location. This is going to be straightforward. We're going into right here. So let me uh, let me give you an idea. So I just zoomed in here on North Texas. This is the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex, for those of you who are not familiar with it. We call it a Metroplex because here you have Dallas. Now, Dallas stretches up here, and it runs over here, and it comes down here, and it runs over here. And there's little sections within Dallas, and there's suburbs. And then, like, the lake... Over here, Lake Ray Hubbard, which is this area here, that's actually part of Dallas. And Lake Levon, I think, is part of Dallas. Uh, the, the city owns the lakes, so it's weird like that. Um, Love Field is, okay, so this is, that's 114. DFW Airport is right here. That's where Dallas-Fort Worth International Airport is, right in this area right here. Okay, 
Love Field is right here. Okay, so here's downtown Dallas. Love Field's right here. When seven, when when south winds are out of the south, southwest takes off, and I mean the planes fly right over downtown. And when they're coming out approach, they come right in over downtown, uh, into the two runways there. So um, we are going to put us uh, confirm airport location. Boom, right there. Airport name. Uh, DAL, KDAL technically is. Uh, let's see here, what logo do we like? These are all kind of just silly. Kind of like this green one. Airport management mode. We're going to go sandbox mode. All right, sound good? Questions? Cool. Loading. This sure looks pretty here at the beginning. Uh, Trolley Man 754, where do you live? Do you live in the uh, you live in the area here? Or are you in a different town where you have Southwest flying over your house all the time? Blah, 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 blah. Gregor Farnsworth. Okay, got it. Thanks. Appreciate you. Uh, here's all that uh, Willy Fufu stuff. Yeah, we'll deal with that another time. Okay, uh, the one thing I really kind of want to do here now to uh, on, work on the trolley. Oh, so you are here in Dallas. I was going to say, hang on. <laughs> you must be Alex's coworker. <laughs> Uh, oh, wait, we need to pause. Pause. Okay. Uh, so this is the active space we have. And uh, uh, cool. Well, welcome aboard. I appreciate you being here. Um, these are the other sections. These are $750,000 to unlock. And I think I want to go ahead and unlock this one. Okay. And I'm going to do a couple things here that are going to seem a little odd, but um, we'll make it work one way or the other. Actually, no, it's not going to seem very odd. Let's go ahead and just look at transportation. And let's look at uh, medium quality public roads. And we're going to actually run the roads for the airport. So uh, what you would have is, what, Lemon Avenue comes in and then runs north and becomes midway and that runs up the east side northwest highway runs across the north side uh, just on the Bachman Lake divide that separates the northwest highway from Love Field uh, Harry Hines is down the west side and then there's another street I think that's even closer than Harry Hines Southwest headquarters is on uh, Harry Hines um, and what's the one that runs across the south side of the airport? Uh, help me out here, trolley man. Um, is it Mockingbird runs across the south side of the airport? I think it's Mockingbird. Anyway, all right, so what I want to do is try to get into the middle of the map here. Now, we're going to start, obviously, a little bit small. The, the idea is going to be the terminal is going to be up in this area here when we get to it, okay? When we start building We'll start building on the south side. I think we're going to have to add some map space to be able to run longer runways for the, the jets. Your primary jet you see in and out of Love Field, of course, with uh, Southwest is a 737 series from Boeing. Uh, but you also see some Airbuses and some uh, 717s. You see they're basically 100 to 250 seat jets uh, primarily. That's, that's what you see. Uh, the bigger stuff goes out of uh, DFW. But you will see uh, Air Force One, uh, 747, VC-25 by Air Force terminology, uh, comes into Love Field typically when the president comes to visit Dallas. Uh, there will be 747s on the ramp, 707s uh, getting maintenance done. There are maintenance hangars on the right side, the east side of the air, uh, airport. So I want to kind of run things into the middle because that's where the roads run in and then um, work from there. What I want to do is establish a robust GA uh, service here at the uh, at the uh, the airport. So we have cash coming in from General Aviation. We well, have that over here on this side, and then some over here. Uh, Jesus Christ! Excuse me for just a minute. I'll be right back. Something just happened outside.
Okay, sorry about that. My uh, neighbor's across the way there. Apparently was carrying out some stuff and she dropped something. So, ooh, I was, I was weird. Oh, sorry. I got a bag of dark chocolate M&M's sitting in front of me, so. Yeah, the dark love link. Yeah, the dark trains run down the west side and then you have to catch a little bus. Because, you know, why would you possibly build the train into the airport or under the airport or something smart, you know? Dark couldn't do it right if you paid him to. Oh, wait, we do. And they still don't. So, um, we're going to try running um, some road here. I guess about the middle of the map there. It looks like it's about the middle of the map. Kind of like that. All right, we're gonna kind of, kind of play along with me here and say that that's like Mockingbird. All right, and then we're gonna run into our space kind of up this way. All right, so that's gonna be yeah. I think that'll work. So basically, the way the terminal layout at Love Field is, it will be, and this is gonna not not be precise because again, the runways run northwest southeast. So we're going to turn that so they effectively run north-south. So you'll have east runway and you'll have a west runway. And then the terminal basically is up here. All right? And the planes pretty much have an equidistant taxi out to either side. All right? That's the plan. All right? So we're going to get this built, and then uh, we will go from there, start working on establishing uh, GA uh operations over here and start getting some cash rolling in and then eventually we may phase these out here although really I don't see the need to I mean it's one terminal building and there's gates mostly along one side the northern what would be the northern side of it in twisting kind of how we're looking to twist things I think and um, then we'll also have some gates on the southern side. We're going to build out, I mean, the idea is to build it out better than the Dallas City Council's found a way to do it because they will screw up anything you put in front of them. They could mess up a wet dream. All right, so uh, what we're going to need is a, uh, let me think here real quick. What I got to have, uh, tab, yes, tab, staff of operations, construction, uh, we need a contract. Uh, so let's go to our email. Welcome to the airport. Small tutorial. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, let's... Um, I need to see what uh, contracts we may have here. Offered contracts. Here we go. We need a builder. And so let's hold up here. Let's see what we got. We got two two-star builders. Uh, these guys will deploy uh, 64 people at $7.60 an hour. These people will deploy 74 people at $9.40 an hour. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking we're going to go with $7.60 uh, per hour. Sign, thank you. Please start there. Uh, nature Fuels, we'll come back to them later. We don't need fuels until we have a fuel facility. All right, very simple. Okay, so now we can go ahead. Oops, let's go ahead and uh, get over here to operations and call up some contractors. Uh, I don't think we need to deploy all of them. We just uh, hit the control. Let's deploy 20 and uh, boom, hit that. That will get them out here. They'll drop off stuff here. And we're going to move these over here. Um, and then uh, we will um, look at... Um, See how I want to do this. I think I want to bring them actually off the road. Before I do that, let's see what this is. One, two, three, four. Okay, so let's do three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then what we'll do is we're going to take all that crap out and rebuild it over here. So let's see if I can um, remember where loading site happens. Uh, 
we set up a loading site there, and then we need a contractor offload site. Do -do -do. There, cool. Um, and then uh, let's. Uh, well, they got to build the road first, so we got to keep the existing system in place. Let's punch it and get rolling here. All right. So how's everybody doing today? We doing all right? Good. We have new applicants. Uh, yeah, we're gonna need the applicants. We're gonna have to to get that stuff going here at some point, but not at the moment. All right. Uh, I did call up contractors. Did I not? I'm pretty sure I called them up. Where are they? Their stuff. They dropped off. Oh, there they are. They're working. Never mind. Keep working, boys. Mm, you know what? Deploy them off. Let's get her done. Then we'll send some of them home. Save our money. I don't like that turn around thing. I don't like the buses turn around like that and then doing that and all that crap. That's why I'm setting up this little loop over here. So uh, our airbase operations will be over here. And uh, we'll have uh, like the road connect through here through the... Uh, gate to the secure area and then we'll start our GA stuff over here and whatever. I think this is rental car parking. If you take this as Mockingbird, come in. Um, rental car parking and then there's like some GA stuff and some maintenance crap and then you get deeper in and then there's all the parking over here and stuff and then airport operations I think is on the right uh, and then you get up to the, uh, the terminal. So Love Field's a nice airport. I like it. I've uh, flown out of it several times. They've done a pretty good job modernizing it, but are still not using it to, to full effect. And that is in part because of, as I mentioned, the city council, uh, Dallas City Council, uh, is just a complete waste of humanity. And, um, you know, you got people who complain about the noise of planes. Well, why did you build a house near the airport? Or why did you buy a house near the airport? Pretty sure most of the people that live down the area have not lived that area all their lives. So, you know, have a coconut smile and STFU, B. All right, let's, uh, let's start bulldozing here. Boom, boom. And then get rid of this here. Now, why is it kind of... It's not letting us demolish that. Okay. All right, well, that's fine. We, we can deal with that. All right, let's get that demolished. Boy, it's just, it just kind of disappeared in the poof. Okay, cool. Oh, there they go. All right, very good. Uh, no, oh, crap. That's something I got to deal with here. In short order. Uh, tab. Uh, staff. Applicants. Let's see. So, executive committee. Who's the idiot that gets rid of? All right, so we need reduce operations costs, the COO, reduce tax, CFO. Uh, and then... Is it uh, CIO? Enables auto planner. Um, no. I want whoever it is that gets rid of the stupid ass um, spam. I can't remember who it is. Um, All right, that's fine. Uh, let's look at bringing in a CFO, but put up, put up, put up, airport staff. No, all right, hold up. Let's filter. Filter airport staff. Wait, airport staff? No, I want executives. That's what I want. All right, so our two uh, options for CFO, Chief Effing Officer. Uh, salaries are pretty similar between Mikhail Svoboda. It's like Peter Svoboda, a hockey player. Retired, I believe. Tamar Mir Mizrachi. Okay. Uh, they look pretty similar. Uh, logic skills a little higher in Tamar's favor. Service uh, is a little higher here. And he's a little higher technical. And they look uh, about the same on stress management. So, uh, the, all things considered, I think she's probably better f from a price perspective. Uh, she worked at Microsoft. Eh, free time, she's a DJ. I'm, I want to be the CFO of a major airport, and uh, in my part time, I think I just run a DJ business. You know, what is, what, what you uh, she went to Harvard. She went to Harvard. Oh, she's from Tel Aviv, Israel. Oh, there's there's points right there. This guy's from Prague. Uh, Tel Aviv scores with me, so higher. 
Why is Tel Aviv score with you, A Train? Because I've spent time there. Thank you very much. Back in the day when my dad was in the Army, uh, we had a chance to take a trip over there. It's been 10, 11, 10 days or so. This was back in like 1981. So Israel is second, well, third on my list behind the United States, obviously, and Japan, because I've spent a lot more time in Japan. But I love Israel. Great place. Okay, so let's look at CIO. Oh, wait, COO. That's next. Frederick Carlson and Max Dijon. <laughs> okay, so Frederick wants a crap ton of money, but his stats do not look more impressive than Max. Max looks more impressive in every category, um, except maybe the service skill. Well, I can deal with that. Let's take a look here. Max Dijon, I have a PhD, piled higher and deeper from Princeton. Worked for four years. Most previous company he worked for is Procter and Procter and Gamble. Free time he works at the shelter. Okay, he's from Lace Lelystad. Okay, whatever. Uh, okay, we're gonna go ahead and hire him because I ain't paying another. This guy wants twenty-four grand more. Really? Suck it. All right. Uh, anybody else we need off the top of our heads here? CIO. I think it's CIO. Is it the CIO? Uh, maybe it is. Let's see if uh, CIO. We got uh, Charlotte Johnsons and Yusef Hassan. Uh, okay, I'm feeling kind of leery of that already. Uh, now she. Uh, wait, let's look at the just base numbers. Uh, he's much more expensive than she is. That's a uh, ding number one on him. Uh, second, his name is Hassan. I'm not too keen on people named Hassan. Hussein. It's close enough. Uh, okay, she's higher here and here. Uh, about the same here and higher here. Um, for 15 grand less. I like it. She's from Wevelg. Well, there. She worked for Gaggle and went for, to Stanford University. Alright, that's cool. You're hired. Thanks. Uh, okay. That should hopefully take care of those stupid emails. I just want to get that out of the way. All right, so now we've got all these uh, home clowns standing around, union types. I'm not a big fan of that. We don't want them standing around. So uh, let's uh, dismiss um, uh, 40 of them. That'll keep 24 around. Ah, oh, that's a good number. I like 24. Yeah, we'll dismiss 20. Okay, cool. Let's uh, hit that. I'll send them home. Bring the bus. All right, cool. Now we've uh, recentered operations over here to the right. Okay. Now, if I'm not going to be able to delete this section of road, I'm not too bajiggity on just keeping it around. So I think we're just going to put that road in, and then we'll uh, hit it. All right, and start looking at how we're going to plan this out. Uh, so we've got our applicants and stuff here. See how much better this works now? I like that. It looks so much better. They come in on the right lane. They turn right. Boom, they're in. What a deal. All right. Yep. Board the bus. Head on home there. All right. Um, dang. Okay. Sent the buses in. They're good. Everybody else is working. Cool. Let's see uh, size-wise, space-wise, what do we need? Um, let's start planning this out here. Aircraft stands. Now, if we put some uh, medium quality asphalt aircraft stands, these are bigger, but these are not really for GA aircraft. So we're not really going to need that. So we're going with small size. We'll do some medium qualities. We're going to start with low quality because that's all we need to start with. And you get three of these for the price of one of these. Um, so this is just a, a size and space deal. All right. So uh, we can put them all the way over here against the edge of the map. And that gives us, uh, what, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven deep. Uh, and then we need like three to four, five tiles of taxiway. Um, damn, I wish I had a planning tool on this. Concrete tiles. Uh, they're only 10 bucks. You know what? We'll, we'll use concrete tiles. That'll help. 
Wait, are we running here? We are running here. We're get the guys busy uh, tearing up Mockingbird here. Okay. Go demolish that. Okay. Uh, where was that concrete tile thing? Concrete. Ah, uh, here we go. Uh, medium quality. All right. So we know we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Seven by one. All right. So there's the depth of a. Um, oh, you know what? Oh, the roads run up that side. That's right. So a road would run up the back side of. Um, Right? Yeah, so that basically puts it as a perimeter road. And it looks like I left just enough room for... 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 Well, okay, where, where to go? Infrastructure, vehicle checkpoints, conveyor belt systems, Securita, desks. Well, where the hell is the thing I'm looking for? Um, light poles. Hmm. Okay, I think the road's probably torn up, so we should be good here. Yep, good. Road's taken care of. I. Uh, okay, I'm looking. Where the hell does it, did the fencing go? That's floors. That's terminal bulldozer. That's walls. Doors. Those. Oh, there it is. Fence. Hooray. Uh, oh, yeah. We can build fence right up. Good. We saved one tile for fencing. Awesome. Cool beans. Alright, so we know now we've got the depth for seven. That's for that. Da -da 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 -da. Where'd it go? It's back here. Alright, so taxiway would be we'll go with five. We'll go with a wide taxiway. And then let's say we put another seven tile there. Okay. Alright, just looking at the size and the space i got available here. But I kind of would like to uh, jump forward, but uh, we'll do that later. That's a lot. I think that's a lot of uh, GA we got going there. That should be good. We put a lot of GA stands with that. And um, we're going to have more over here. We're actually going to start over here so it's closer. Uh, but also, we're going to put the fuel farm down here and uh, work from there. So what, uh, what I'm really trying to accomplish now is getting the spacing figured out. So let's say we have those, and then we're going to have uh, one, two, three, four, five tiles of spacing. And then we'll have five tile wide taxiway here. Okay, and then we'll have one, two, three, four, five, wait, wait, let's look at the actual runway entry and exits, and that's stuff we need to see right here. Okay, so that sort of thing, how, how wide is this? This is four tiles deep. Okay, so this would go here-ish, yeah. Uh, to connect to the runway, so we need four tiles space to the runway for these. We could always make it bigger. Um, I kind of like the idea of going five tiles there, so we'll go with that. So we have one, two, three, four, five. So then the runway goes here. One, two, three, four, five. Right? One. That's going to be empty space. Yep, runway's five wide. Okay, so now let's see what we got over here on the other side. 
really, we got more room over here if necessary. But, um, because that, that puts the runway way away. Well, that's okay, because we want it to be way away from the terminal buildings. All right, so cool. This may work out just nice. All right, so then we'll do, again, another one, two, three, four, five tiles, and then uh, taxiway, one, two, three, four, five. That'll be taxiway. And um, how much gap did we put over? Put five tiles there. Yeah, you know, this, this, I think this is going to work out rather nicely. One, two, three, four, five. That's empty space. And then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's six. That's two or seven. Five tiles for taxiway. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm. Now that's getting a little cramped on this side, but uh, if we put all our fuel stuff down here, taxiway will be able to join into the runway over here. We got room for the fuel farm down here. We got room for the jet fuel farm like up here. Um, I think that'll work out. I think. You know what? With this being GA, I think we're going to reduce. Give us a couple more uh, uh, room, a little bit more room right here. So that way we've got, yeah, that gives us uh, six tiles wide to work with off to the side there, and. Um, we're going to want to have service road that runs around the end of the runway to get over this side so we can service them. We could always put GA or a, an additional fuel farm on this side. But, uh, yeah, I think this works out. You guys, uh, you guys happy with that so far? Does that look all right? Um, I think this will do. So, with that in mind, let's look at... Um, this is the runway. This is the taxiway. This is the taxiway down through the GA section. Yeah, 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 okay. Kind of digging it. So I think we can um, start looking at getting busy here. We need a runway. So let's cancel out that. And let's get a runway built. Must be built within the world. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Yeah, okay, now we come to another holding hold point. Hold please. Now we've established our horizontal space and we need to establish vertical spacing. Um, so let's just say this is Mockingbird. If we carried Mockingbird across, um, that would come across here. Right? So that would be Mockingbird. So uh, we want... Uh, fence line, and where did I find the fence line? All the way over here. So we're going to say we're going to establish the fence line here. Okay. And then we're going to have service roads run here. All right. And then we will have uh, some space to the runway. Yeah, something like that. That should be plenty of... Well, you know what? The lights are going to be kind of running across the road and what have you. But they do that sort of thing. Right? Service roads run not too far past the end of the runway. Uh, let's just grab the runway here. Do, 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 do. Not valid. Oh, not unlocked. Oh, because we're right up against the top edge of the map there. Okay. So we're going to go all the way up to the top edge of the map. That's going to limit the space we have available there. Uh, okay, we're going to build it right here. All right now, we're going to go down and change this. We'll just move this stuff down. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do, 
So uh, we're going to do our asphalt service road. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see maybe what, let, let's get the runway built. And then we'll uh, we'll see how that shakes out. Now, uh, continue, air, runway entry and exits, aircraft stands, taxiway foundation. We're going to go with medium quality to start with. Wait a minute. How did I wind up off center on this? Damn it, Davis. You screwed it up. All right. Let's, uh, let's go back to get this right here. Am I centered there? That looks centered. Okay. Let's get it. Well. Now we're centered. Okay. Happy camper. Uh, taxiway foundation, medium quality. I'm going to set some of that up over here. Let's see. This will be a runway entry exit. Uh, medium quality. Yep. So we'll do that. And then we'll rotate that that way. Does it have to be right at the end of the runway? Man, I just... That'll do. And then, uh, yeah, taxiway. And that gets us lined up here. Yeah, cool. That, uh, that gets things started. All right, cool. That takes care of that side. This side we'll, we'll screw around with later. I'm going to go ahead and just delete all this back out because we don't need it. Object mark for demolish. That's good. So demolish that. And, uh, yeah, this gives us plenty of room over here. Aircraft infrastructure. Blah, 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 blah. Um... There we go. Okay, that starts us off that way, and then we can get rid of uh, this, get rid of this, this, and this. Beauty! All right. I like it. So we'll see how the uh, end of the runway shakes out as far as putting our service road around there. Of course, we don't have to go around there yet anyway. So, new big deal. Uh, aircraft infrastructure. We're going to start uh, aircraft stands. Uh, we're going to start with low quality and uh, work from there. Should I put one right here? Graham Kowser. Hey, how you doing? Welcome aboard. Appreciate you being here. How are you this evening? Uh, should I put one right here or should I just have these opposing? One here, one here, and so on and so forth. What do you guys think? You know what? In fact, we'll start it here. We'll we'll assume that maybe this was planned to be a wider, a five tile wide taxiway, and it was planned that it could have gone further this direction, but it doesn't. So for now, this is where they put GA stuff. All right. So that's going to be one. Now, hmm. now I'm scratching my head about something here. How are we going to cross the service roads, cross the taxiways? They allow you, they allow you to do that, right? We want the fuel trucks to be able to get over to the stands over here. Uh, okay, so with that in mind, we're going to come back and undo this. And look at uh, having service road. So you got the narrow taxiway. We'll say it was going to be five wide. Then you got to have a service road that crosses it. So this will be service road to here. Now, let's go back and put in some small stands. Aircraft stands, low quality. We may upgrade these later. One, two, three, 
Oops, there's one up here that I missed. Do, 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 do. Wait, that's one way entrance exit. I need parking stands here. And do, do, do. Boom. Boom. So I have ten. Yeah, that'll work. Taxiway Foundation, medium quality. Do that there. So now this service road should uh, run up both sides there. Should being the operative word. We'll figure it out. If it doesn't, that's going to run up both sides there. Then we just need to make a connection and put our fuel farm. Yeah, stuff. Uh, and then we'll also have road come up, you know, like the edge and. Um, Separate it out a little bit here. We do need our vehicle access gate, uh, vehicle checkpoint. Let's see how we want to set this up. That's how we want to set this up right here. Wait. Which is the air? Okay, wait. Uh, so there's. Is that correct? I don't think that's correct. Which way is correct on this thing? Do I have this correct here? Oh yeah, yeah, that's that that that's correct. Okay. Um, yeah, I think that works nicely, right? Like that. Checkpoint. I was looking at the the thing with the wrench above it is the service road, so that's this part here. All right, we got that squared away. So we'll go ahead and set that up. So connects that. Very good. And uh, let's see here. Okay. So then we're going to need to run taxiway all the way up to the other end. Julius. Friends, friends, friends. I pronounce that right. Play more Tower 3D Pro. Hey, thanks, Julius. Appreciate you being here, and uh, thank you for the suggestion. I absolutely will. I promise you that. Uh, we had a pretty good session last night. I think it was pretty entertaining. Um, and uh, so, look forward to more uh, Tower 3D Pro real soon. Probably maybe tomorrow. I don't know. I enjoy it when it goes well. <laughs> it kind of sucks when it doesn't, but, you know. Um, okay. We got some stuff to build here, people. Uh, and sooner or later, we're going to need an air traffic control tower, which I think we'll be able to plop down right over in here somewhere. And we'll be putting in some fencing like this. How much is this stuff? Zero dollars? That's it? Really? It's zero dollars? Let's get this built. All right, go and let's uh, let's deploy all the contractors. Call them. Get busy, people. Ah, crap on a stick. I want that spam gone. Uh, email. Oh, you gotta freaking I remember what you gotta do now. Hang on. You gotta have the procurement person because I. Uh, yeah, procure, procurement director. Uh, where are you? There we are. Martina Ferrari and Robert Johnson. Uh, Robert's more expensive. Martina's better logic skills. Robert's superior in service. She's a little better in technical. And she stays a little cooler, and she's less expensive. You're hired. All right, that covers that. So now what we can do is go into... Uh, procurement. And that is right here. And we want spam filter. <laughs> Let's get that unlocked. Get rid of that stupid spam. Prince Abu Nabu... Gabu Wabi, whatever his name is. Uh, OK. 
comes back. So, hey, uh, Graham and Cal uh, Julius, if you would, check in with your uh, local airport code, please. We appreciate it. Let us know where you are on planet Earth or beyond. Be uh, super cool and awesome. Cool and neat in a neat and cool sort of way. New product has arrived. I guess that would be the receipt for spam filter. All right. So hopefully that takes care of that. Now, um, what I'm looking for here is to figure out allows people to cross roads. Okay. Now, let's see here. Medium quality. Ah, it will allow us to go across. Let's do that. set up some taxiway across here. Ah, Graham is in, uh, you are in Ireland? England somewhere? Great Britain? Somewhere up that way. I know you guys can be a little touchy about the whole Great Britain thing versus Ireland or versus Scotland and all that, so pardon me for well, possibly not getting that right. All right, so this is looking good so far. We are getting built. This is good. We have flight ops up and running as quickly as possible. take small flights and um, yeah this is looking good so far I I'm pretty sure aircraft will be able to taxi across this I'm pretty sure oh you know what I know why they're blinking because they want this they want taxi with Can't go any further. All right, there's taxiway path getting established. There's our runway. All right, no run, no runway. Actually, yeah, I, I get that. We're working on it. Dublin, Ireland. You're Irish. Look at the Irish. Yeah, I think. Uh, by name, my heritage is uh, is German, but uh, I'm 6'3", very pale skin, red hair, blue eyes. Draw your own conclusion. I'm thinking I'm a little more on the Irish side. Ah, uh, poop. You know what? They gave us a crappy runway, too. Uh, not aircraft types. Status closed. Uh, upgrade. And we're going to upgrade to asphalt. Well, now wait a minute. I guess we already did that. Uh, PAPI lights we do not need yet. And we're not going to extend it. So, um, hang on. We are almost ready here, people. Almost. Start getting some little prop jobs in. All right, this is looking good. I think we're about set. And we do not have a real need for because even the stupid little planes will uh, take off really slow and crap. Let's see. Tax. No. Uh, let's just put this guy right here. And uh, hopefully this will not bite us in the butt. Let's get that built. Um, oh, 
open the runway. Let's uh, open stand. Oh, you know what? There's. I think there's a more efficient way to do this. Okay, so there's that. Uh, all right, things look good there. And let's look at, um, pause here real quick. Uh, we do not have the airport open as yet. That's next. Let's look at a uh, air traffic control tower. Large size, low quality. Construction cost two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Regulation of aircraft. Uh, we're going to go with the small one for now, I think. And uh, we can upgrade later, as desired. So one more go. Service road. I'll buy it. Uh, and then we're going to put some vehicles in. Wait, 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 wait. Vehicle. Uh, vehicle. How big is this? Well, psh, okay. Huh, never mind. Relay that order. Uh, we're going to spin this around. put it this way and we're going to put it right shaw so we got room to dink around with fencing around it and then we're going to put a service road shaw and then we can put a vehicle which are these things ten thousand dollars we'll be able to put that right there we got to get that road built first though I think let's get that done uh, tab, dashboard, no, operations, open the airport, allow general aviation, baggage hand, there we go, cool, and so, we should be getting some planes in here pretty soon, see how this works, yeah, see the taxiway runs right through there, so, good. ATC tower is getting built, and how's the weather in Dublin right now, Graham? Is it uh, getting pretty cold up there? Let me fall. Okay. So there's that, and at this point, I th well, let's go back to. Set that up. Vehicle depot. And then we're going to start setting up our fuel depot down here. And then we do have some room where we're, I guess we could put a few more. Holy crap, is that hail? Ah! It doesn't sound like rain, that sounds like hail. Oh, hail. The basic weather station up here. Yeah, that's not good. It sounds like we're getting hailed on. I hate hail. That sucks. That sucks. Ace. Um... Okay, and obviously the lights go all the way on down. Let me see if we're going to be able to build service. Yep, we're going to be able to build service right down there, so that's fine. All right, so that's all good. All right, the weather stopped. Now we can see. Oh, there it was. Current season. Weather situation. 
41 degrees, kind of chilling. It was warm today, but overall, winter is coming. Yeah, well. Oh, you're just back from Poland. Cool. What, uh, were you there on business, on vacation or something? Got friends down there? I think we got a couple of, uh, couple of subscribers on the channel that are in or from Poland. Which is pretty cool. Summer has arrived. Hooray. All right, let's look at Fuel Depot. That's going to be medium quality, small A, Jet, jet A1. No, I want Jet A1. Medium out gas. We're going to set this up like right about here. Pardon me. And then we can build additional tanks off the side of it. So that'll work out nicely. How much is this? Twenty-five thousand dollars. Here, how much space do we need for the extra tanks? Three by three, and then the base building uses four by four, right? Five by five. And then we got room below it. For two additional sets of tanks. Cool. Yeah, let's put that there. A lot of drinking, holiday, huh? A lot of drinking involved. Oh, well, good on you. Glad you made it back home safe. All right, so we'll get our basic fuel depot built. Uh, do I have anything? Okay, airport's open, security's enabled. Allow GA. Turn my lights off and on. Blah blah blah. Let's fast forward to the next day. I think we're already there. Oh yeah, we're already. It's after 4 a.m. All right, cool. Punch it. Oh wait, hold it. Tab. Operations. Uh, contractors. Let's uh, dismiss. Oops. Dismiss for you. Cut that cost. Okay, there's our fuel depot. And we do not have a fuel contract yet. We have 52,000 gee, 52,000 gallon capacity. Um, and then, uh, yeah. Those fuel tanks all built, and that will punch up our capacity quite nicely. Thank you very much. Am I missing something? Why does this look like grass? Here, that's kind of stupid. Uh, make that make that look right. <laughs> stupid. All right. Oh, we still have we still have room to go down here. That's good. That's good. That's good. Likes it. All right. So if we want to, we could add a couple more sets. Ah, airplanes! Hooray! We got lots of airplanes coming in. Wasn't even paying attention. Sweet. Oh, you know what? We can't deliver fuel until we have a fuel truck. So we've got to go to economy procurement. Avgas fuel truck. Uh, we've got to Avgas fuel service unlock, and then we're gonna order. Uh, do we want one truck or two? There's a Fjord fuel truck. Avgas 100 liters. Hang on, let's let's read this for a second. Uh, 80 horsepower, top speed 80 kilometers an hour, low durability. Fifteen hundred bucks, fifty dollars an hour. Um, now down here, wait a minute. Okay. Uh, 
down here we have the Maverick fuel truck, which is 160 horsepower, 80 kilometers an hour, high durability. It's twice as much per hour, and it costs a thousand dollars more. Uh, what do you guys think on that? Should we go with the cheap one for now, or the uh, the nicer one? Uh, ooh, what's this? Wait, night flights. Tired of having to restrict your flight planning time of the day. Small bureaucratic free. Blah, 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 blah. Be able to schedule overnight flights. We don't need to deal with that yet. That's for show. Faux show. Um, so I think we can go with this one, right? The terminal building itself involved in the game just runways. No, no, no. There, there's terminal buildings and everything. The, the key thing I'm trying to do right now, and I'm gonna go ahead and order. I think two of these because we got. Uh, let's just get one for now. We can order. Order now. Okay, cool. Punch it. So about the time this research gets done, this will get delivered. All right. Uh, so no, you you totally build um. Um terminal buildings and stuff down here terminals and you put in flooring and walls and all that stuff doors windows you section it off for various things like uh, bathrooms and uh, you know staff rooms and food rooms and shop rooms baggage claim all that stuff it, ha it has everything to it um, it's just for right now uh, I I'm just trying to start getting some income and the quickest way to do that is set up general aviation and um, when aircraft start, especially overnighting, they pay like a hundred bucks an hour to overnight at your airport. So that's um, that's a nice little chunk of change, right? So I uh, for so for right now, what I think we'll do is start looking at uh, aircraft stands. We'll look at add four more stands. Um, I could go ahead and do it here. That would squeeze in an extra stand. Um, hmm. I would go ahead and connect it to, well, yeah, that doesn't matter. Uh, okay, I'm going to hold off on that one, because I want to, this I could put like three I could, I could about do like four of them this way huh that would well it's it's gonna take I, I could do five this way so one two three that's gonna get awful tight right there so wait wait pause 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 um, so we might go with the four because I kind of want to leave this space down here so we can do a fence and we gotta have a service road that goes around I don't want it to be right on top of the stands. Although I think you could run across the stands because that's effectively service road. No! I said pause, jerk offs. Delete. Pause, pause. Go hold that stuff. Hold that stuff. Um, yeah, you know what? I kind of like the idea of uh, just doing them this way. So let's set this up. Taxi wheel have to come across. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad at all. I don't think so. And that leaves room to come down here and then run across soon. Uh, we want to connect these guys. So that'll be there. Cool. Do, do, do. And then you got to come in. Now, is this some different? So, uh, yeah, Graham, it, it's it's very much like Sim Airport. Uh, I talked about this last video I did. There's a lot of similarities, but there's a lot of differences. The uh, way they approached uh, the the game, like this is something you don't get in Sim Airport here. I'm going to set up this, the taxiway connections.
Um, you open the stands up. General Aviation, they don't have that in the Sim Airport. Sim Airport had a lot of... Here's how I compare the two. And, and I, I'm not trying to show favoritism. I'm just... This is critical analysis. I've got almost 700 hours playing Sim Airport. Okay? I've taken a break this development cycle because, A, I was kind of upset over a major change they made to the revenue uh, earning ability in the game. Uh, so I'm just trying to get to where... I, well... And, and then they were doing a lot of performance enhancements and some of the things they were doing there's there's been a lot of bugs so i've kind of wanted to get through this cycle and i uh, walk hashtag walk away i uh, for a little bit and i uh, i'm looking at going back and checking things out once the new the current cycle drops to general servers and then uh We'll see how the stability looks because I don't like breaking like every five minutes. Um, so, I uh, there's that. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna need it. Hang on a second. Minor technicality. We cannot uh, refuel aircraft if we don't have fuel. <laughs> Duh. Really? A train. You're a genius. Dollar uh, fifty-five for liter. Jeff. Dollar fifty-five per liter. Dollar fifty-five per liter. That's the only op option I have. I would think I could get it cheaper than that. Speaking of fuel. Uh, okay, buck fifty-five and forty-one sense. I'm going to reject this and we'll see if we can get a cheaper contract. Fuel. Uh, okay, so um, you know, notice we are still earning money here on these planes. You know, basically you know, every few minutes you'll see dollars. You know, ta ding, ta ding, ta ding, ta ding. So we're making money. Ooh, wow, the wind's really kicking up. I. Uh, all right, so uh, here's my comparison between the two. Sim Airport had quite a bit of breadth to it, so width-wise. Wait, yes, but not a lot of depth. Uh, they used the Prison Architect basis, uh, used the Unity game engine. It's like three guys, maybe four at times, maybe two at times, developing it. Uh, they started off with small planes like the Beechcraft 1900 which is kind of like what you see here it's a little bigger than these but uh, they hold 19 people all the way up to 747s and Airbus A380s which hold 500 plus which means you could get just an ungodly amount of packs into your terminal and that really slowed down game performance okay so um, they've had to kind of catch up with that there are a lot of variety of aircraft though uh, airport CEO I uh, had depth but not as much breadth to it okay so it's deeper you've seen i had to go in and do contracts that wasn't uh, that's still not something you do in um sim airport uh you had to hire staff that was an ad just last year middle of last year for sim airport uh general aviation you don't have that in sim airport you have more airplanes but you don't have general aviation Uh, fuel. You don't have a division uh, between, you know, because you don't have GA. Man, look at this is cool. Look at this. This guy's taxi lights on. This guy's guys just takeoff lights. Watch his lights go bright. Boom. What an awesome detail. Plus, look, I mean, look at the details here. This looks much more realistic. This is realistic, okay? Your lights and stuff are, are very realistic. So um, that's a few of the things that uh, ACEO does that uh, Sim Airport does not. Uh, Sim Airport has the planning tool, which is nice. Uh, ACEO, as you saw, I used um, 
aircraft infrastructure and concrete tiles, which are cheap. And the beauty of, uh, of Airport CEO, here's another major difference between the two, okay? When you go to build something, you, you pay for it right away. All right, so watch. Um, okay. Let's look at, here, low-quality aircraft grass stand, right? Oops, I just rotated it. Um, okay, let's just set this up here. It will cost me $20,000. Right now I have $290,498, right? Now I have $270,498, right? So I've purchased it. But it's not built yet. So, and it's set up like it's a, it, plus it looks cool because it looks like it's a blueprint. Now, if I hit this, I just got my $20,000 back. That does not happen in Sim Airport. In Sim Airport, you're stuck. Uh, you're going to get the materials are going to come in, and you're just going to have to deal with it. So that's uh, kind of the big differences. The, the aircraft really mind their manners well here, too, as you can see. Uh, the packs look more realistic on here and have for a long time. Oh, wait. I see something I didn't do. This may be a factor. Let's connect this to this. There. Uh, we get nice condition updates on the uh, wind and weather. Um, so, lots of cool stuff. Uh, have I not enabled... Oh, I still don't have a fuel... Uh, here we go. Let's see what Nature Fuel does this time. Dollar fifty-three and forty-three cent. Wait a minute. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that got more expensive. Is it me or was it forty-one and a dollar fifty-one? No, reject. Come on, I need somebody else to come in here with a, a nature fuel. Uh, okay, that's where it was. All right, we'll take it. Fine. Screw you, hippies. Bring us some fuel, and then we'll be able to sell it. Now, uh, the operations panel. Wait, wait, wait. Loans, procurement, fees. So here's my fees. Av co uh, average cost of gas. Now, here's here's the cost. Now, see how it's green? Now, if I go up with it, it's going to get yellow. So basically, I'm going to make 51 cents per liter. Or 51 cents per gallon on uh, aviation gas. Okay. J1, we're going to change... Because, I mean, that's that's basically making no money for it. Passenger handling fees, light aircraft, medium aircraft, small stand parking. Uh, fee per hour, right? It's $100 per hour. Okay? You could even charge bathroom entrance fees if you want. That goes back to the old days of, um, excuse me, of um, uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon. You could charge use the uh, bathroom. So, both games are cool. Um... This one is, is prettier, I think. And, I mean, look, the runway is, you know, being used. So, um, you know, it's, um, you know, showing signs of wear. Now, it's down to 51%. Now, I can repair it just like that. Okay, and you can designate for general aviation and for commercial flights. So you can have like a runway for GA only or for commercial only, right? Let's see, large aircraft are not yet available. I think the biggest, oh, and then here you can designate for takeoffs and landings, takeoffs or landings uh, alone, okay? Uh, I'm going to rename the runway 11, no, that's going to be, it's uh, going to be 18 left. Three, six, right. Because that's what it eventually will be. Okay, so we can rename the runway. But that's that's just telling. I mean, the, the game knows it's one eight, you know, and what have you. See. So, that's cool. Now we're all of a sudden we're like freaking two hundred eighty thousand dollars in the hole. I'm not sure how that happened. Somebody came in like collected on a loan or something. That just seriously kicked us in the balls. I'm not happy about that. Dismiss all the contractors. 
Um, oh, it was the fuel. That's what it was. The fuel dinged us. Hey. Yeah, that kicked us in the net. So now we'll make money. We'll start making money here. Uh, first off, we're not going to have contractors just sitting around. And second, um, you know, we'll hopefully start rake, raking in some money here, and hopefully our uh, airport satisfaction will go up. That said, I haven't seen the fuel trucks doing anything. Have I? Do I have I not turned that on? Let's enable it. That helps. I'm an idiot. You got to enable this stuff too. There's so the learning curve is a little steeper, I think here on ACEO because there's just there, there's a lot of steps. I mean, you had to open the airport. You had to open the runway. You had to open each of the gates. You had to designate the gates for, you know, GA or commercial. I mean, it's just a whole bunch of, of things that you have to do uh, and keep track of that you've done or, you know, haven't done. Uh, here's another nice little feature. Wait, are we at full speed? Uh, we'll go here, and you can fast forward the next day. And it's going to jump forward to 4 a.m. We need to start making some money here, people. I don't know if we want to add some more stands over here. Probably will. Which is going to cost a bunch of money. When we start selling gas, that will help. Now, you say, hey, A train, what about terminal stuff and getting some commercial flights in? That's a fine point, and I guess we could look at doing that like right in here. Only so we can start making money. That's the key. So we really want to start making money. Huh. And I think to do that, in part, we're going to want to widen this taxiway. Oh, we're paused. Oh, we're at super slow speed. Um, oh, here, look, you can set two-way, one-way taxiways and stuff. So how cool is that? All right, that's right-clicking. Okay, hold on. I want to widen this taxiway. Um, I have to bring contractors back in for that. Uh, let's get as a control. Okay, so that will get them moving, and then let me see. I want to get rid of. that just demolished that and demolished the entire taxiway. Yep, it demolished the taxiway. Well, that was stupid. Alright, let's kick this in the ass. Uh, and then I'm going to want to
Oh, you know what? It may have automatically moved that line over there once I... Oh, stupid. Hang on. There we go. I think it would have fixed it as soon as I... people beep beep you know oops <laughs> hmm. trying to get rid of that painted line stuff there and I'm not quite sure how to do it So, yeah, I think uh, what we can do here, or, or, uh, I guess an option would be to, you know, there's a couple of different options. All right, fuel truck's running, so that's good. Now, this deal is not working for me. We'll wait till the overnight to dink around with that. <laughs> okay, so fuel truck, we, we may need more than one fuel truck. Let's get a second fuel truck, because I, I don't feel like we're providing uh, procurement. Let's get a second one. We, I, is this one truck's running his ass off trying to refuel all the airplanes, and I, I think that's going to keep people unhappy, and I'd rather have them happy. See, he went up there, turned around, take off. Now he's coming back down here. All right, good. Now we got a second fuel truck. It's rolling in here. This is good. Okay. I wonder if I can just continue this service road across. And... Um, Maybe run the main road around, and we could build a passenger terminal over here. Having those roads would kind of goof things up, though, based on uh, what I've done so far. So, maybe not. Maybe. Maybe I have a, an, an idea here. started building aircraft stands here-ish. We need to be oriented this way. Then we have room for the terminal up above. And let's see how much space that's going to take up. We could do... Obviously, we're not going to be able to do the full complement of what Love Field has. It's unfortunate. It's really because I should have pushed this further over to the right, so I'd be further over. There should be just one row of stands over here. We 
need to start getting some G, uh, some commercial aircraft in here, though, sooner rather than later. Um, now, with this service road, I could build a terminal up here and run shuttle buses out to remote stands over here. But that's, boy, that's awful far off. Awful far off. What I think we're going to wind up doing is reworking what I was thinking over here and moving this runway over about 10 tiles. Push it over a lot more. Which is going to create a lot more room there for general aviation aircraft, which would be good. this is looking for now. I think I'm going to have to contemplate that. I have to, I have to noodle on that for a bit and uh, see maybe if we come back and change that. But for now, uh, I think we're going to uh, call a halt to this episode of Airport CEO. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, give us a like. Share with your friends. Let them know about Airport CEO. Now available on Steam. Link in the description below. And uh, let me hit pause here. And uh, subscribe to the channel for more great content coming soon. And when I say coming soon, I mean uh, I think I'm probably going to shut this down, chill for a bit, and uh, you might expect some more content coming up here later this evening, possibly of the uh, Tower 3D Pro variety. So I. Uh, Hey, if all else fails, maybe you just learned how to get a general aviation airport up and running in Airport CEO. So that's a good thing. But hey, I want to say thank everybody for tuning in. Again, give us a like, share with your friends, and uh, subscribe to the channel for more great content coming soon. Also, check us out on Patreon.com, P-A-T-R-E-O-N.com, Patreon.com slash A underscore train. That's A underscore train. Become a patron of the channel for exclusive content. And uh, we appreciate everyone's support. So I hope you have a great day, night, evening, morning, wherever you are on planet Earth or beyond. I'm A-Train. It's over. And I'm out. <laughs>